Alright, so I'm back here once again, and this time I'm here to give you guys a first reaction to this new Takashi 69 song entitled Gooba. So I'm not really gonna get into the whole politics and everything that's going on with Takashi 69 as far as the whole case and stuff, but me as a music fan, like I'm wondering like where does he go in hip hop? This man jumped on Instagram live and had two million views. Like this nigga broke records. Like we like we was talking about the whole the whole versus battles and all that junk, which those was five and them broke records, but nigga, two million view two million views? I ain't never seen nobody like that. Like this man pretty much got out of jail and his clout level is still beyond nine thousand. Without further ado, man, we finna get into it, right? Takashi 69, Gooba, let's go. I'm liking this shark. Whoa, 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 whoa. First of all, ain't you on house arrest, bro? How did, bro, bro where, where, where are you at right now? Where are you at right now doing this? I like the pink shark and I like the teeth. I like everything that's going on with this right now. So, yeah. Hey. This man is like the definition of clout. Like, it's, it's ridiculous. Are you dumb, stupid, or dumb? He got the house arrest band on and everything, man. Alright, so my final verdict for Takashi 6 9 is Google. I ain't even gonna lie, I like it a little bit. I ain't even gonna lie. Now, my whole thing with this, like, besides me liking this, I'm just wondering how this video was created. Because, first of all, you on house arrest. This man got a whole house arrest bracelet monitor thing on and he's just acting like ain't nothing happened like this video right here it remind me of the video that he did with, the, with uh Nicki Minaj so pretty much I watched the little the little Instagram live video that he had did and pretty much like he was addressing the whole snitching allegations and all that stuff and he got on the whole topic of like loyalty and all that stuff and he was saying like pretty much he did so much for these guys and they pretty much backstabbed him so that was pretty much his whole reason for like snitching and all that and his whole moral behind the story is like there is no lo there is no loyalty why be lo loyal to some folks that pretty much backstabbing you kidnapping you messing with your girl on the side and all that junk and you didn't gave these folks so much and it's like yeah he wasn't the most yeah he won the gangstest person in the world and it's like he they knew that when they allowed this man to come in that's my whole thing they knew that when they allowed this man to come in so it's like y'all know who y'all dealing with now the thing that i'm wondering about now is like by it being hip-hop by it being hip-hop by it being rap it's like Snitching is pretty much a big no-no. So my whole thing with Takashi 69 and his camp, like him going forward is like, I don't know how long he can sustain this. Like, I am ain't even gonna lie, I'm a little happy for the dude. You know, he out of jail and stuff, but it's like, how long can he sustain this? And the fact that he just jumped on Instagram Live and had literally 2 million people watch his video, like I was saying earlier, like, we was talking about the whole versus battles with, like, Mamie Fresh, Scott Storch, um, Babyface, and uh, Teddy Riley, like, doom, all them IG Live battles, they broke records. This man got on here and literally just talked about what happened, and he was just jumping around dancing and had 2 million views. Like, this man is pretty much the definition of clout. He's up in there, he's pretty much talking about his all his uh, Rolexes and all this stuff, talking about, like, you can't get this in America and all this stuff. He had, like, four different ones. And he was like, the fact that I came home, I snitched, I did all this stuff. Y'all made memes about me. Y'all did this, this, and this. Called me a rat, all this stuff. And I came, and he was like, I pretty much came back. And stole everybody from the so-called king of New York. And now he pretty much then came back and sort of took that title out of nowhere. This man went to jail pretty much. I ain't gonna say he was at the top, but his just, just like his attention, like the the attention that folks was getting him, his whole clout level, like it was just already high. 
and then the fact that he snitched, got out of jail, and just just jumped back on here out of nowhere. Like to me, that I ain't even gonna lie, that's amazing. Especially in hip hop, like the fact, like with hip hop, there's a whole like no snitching thing, and the fact like he's the first public hip hop snitch. Like I'm interested to see where this goes. Please like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Let me know how y'all feel about about this song. Let me know if y'all like still support this man or what. Me, I'm kind of like it, it ain't have nothing to do with me. I just I, I I like his charisma. Like he just like he, he just get he just one of them folks that just he, he just got that charisma. Like it's kind of like the baby, but it's like with him. He, he just don't care. So please, like I said, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Be sure to follow me on different social medias. I'm going to start posting more on Instagram. Uh, please follow me at the app right here. And also, please be sure to like leave suggestions for like, what y'all think I should listen to. Different songs, artists, all that good stuff. And also, remember, I dropped a playlist. I dropped two playlists. Got more coming. But be sure to check those out. The other, one of them is called Vibrations. The other one is called Action. Thank you guys for watching this video. And yeah, this is T-Sign once again. Peace.